Oh, I think uh, they will play their part in uh, an industrial, a stroke technological um, revolution of uh, very sizable proportions over the next uh, few decades. It's difficult to um, spell out just the detail at the moment. Uh, the uh, discovery has been very much uh, one of uh, a fundamental discovery and uh, fundamental development. Uh, it will take time to uh, unleash all the uh, possible applications, but they will, uh, I think, uh, lead to new materials. They will lead to uh, new practices in medical health, and they will lead to uh, new uh, developments in information technology. And a lot more for buy that I haven't thought of. You know, every machine that man, woman, uh, <laughs> has invented uh, has led to uh, an incredible um, change in our lives. So, from the steam engine to um, the electric motor to the <coughs> internal combustion engine, you know, just think of all that has happened uh, in the um, uh, subsequent development of these machines and uh, let your imagination run riot. And uh, you can, I think, appreciate that uh, we're in for a very, very spectacular ride in the decades to come. Mind-blowing proportion. Uh, two weeks ago at the University of Nottingham. Well, the machines that uh, I've been involved in um, are dependent on another type of bonding within the smallest of entities that uh, makes up a chemical, namely a molecule. And so we're accustomed to talking about chemical bonds of one kind or another. The bond that we have uh, played a part in inventing is the mechanical bond. So it's a physical bond between component parts and to this extent it allows the component parts to move much larger distances relative to each other than is possible within a conventional molecule. So it's all about uh, movement, it's all about what we call dynamics uh, and, and this is how it uh, leads to uh, the way of uh, designing and um, operating a new form of machine at a very, very small level. Mm -hmm.